Now I'm going to open a file to show you how to save it as an MP3. I've got a file saved on the desktop here and the easiest way to open it is to just drag it straight into the Audacity window. The file opens up. Now for the sake of the demonstration I'll pretend that I've edited the track and it's ready to be exported as an MP3. Open the file menu and choose export. So this will open up the export file window. And I need to make sure that the MP3 is selected from many options that are available in the save as type drop down box. And Audacity doesn't automatically put MP3 at the end of the file name. So when you name the file, make sure you also type .mp3 at the end. I'll call this file podcastedit.mp3. So choose a location on your computer to save the file to. And I'll just put it onto the desktop. Now you can fill out information about the track if you want, but it isn't something that you have to do. You can select OK to move on. The program will now ask you for the Audacity Lame Encoder. Audacity can't save MP3s without a little help. To get a free copy of Lame, select the Download button. It takes you to a website where you can get the Lame Encoder. So how do I download and install the Lame MP3 Encoder? So you go to the Download page. Now it says here that LAME is a library that allows some programs to encode MP3 files and that's exactly what we need. Scroll further down the page and select the LIB MP3 LAME to win zip link. When the file download window opens, click save. Now I'm going to choose to save this to the C drive. Straight onto the C drive, no folders. Then click save. Now locate the zip file you just downloaded. And right click on the file and choose WinZip. WinZip. Extract to folder and choose the LIB MP3 lame to win. Now there's the folder that's just been created. Now look inside and you'll find the lame underscore enc dll file. Now that file should stay here and just not be moved. Right, so go back to Audacity and you can finish showing Audacity where the MP3 encoder is stored. Select the browse button and go to the location where the lame underscore enc dll file was placed just a moment ago and that was on the C drive. Go into the folder and you'll need to go into the next folder as well. And you'll find the lame encoder DLL file inside. Click on open and then OK. And now it's saving as an MP3. Let's see if we ever have to do all of that again because it was quite a long process. Choose file and then export. name the file correctly and make sure that you use the .mp3 file extension then choose save fill out the information if you want and click OK this time Audacity knows where the encoder is and it compresses the mp3 file straight away